Have you ever been mesmerized by someone's charm and confidence, only to later find out that their grandeur was a facade? Enter the grandiose narcissist. They're the ones who walk into a room and command attention. With an air of self-importance and an insatiable need for admiration, they paint a picture of themselves that's larger than life. But what's the reality behind this carefully constructed image? Let's take a closer look at their exaggerated accomplishments. They'll regale you with tales of their incredible successes, each one more impressive than the last. But when you peel back the layers, you'll often find these stories are embellished with half-truths and lack concrete evidence. Inconsistencies may start to emerge, revealing a stark contrast between the reality and their self-proclaimed triumphs. Then there's the constant boasting and name-dropping. A grandiose narcissist's conversation is a one-way street, with the spotlight firmly on them. They'll weave in connections to important figures, prestigious accomplishments, anything that fosters a sense of awe and entitlement. But remember, this is all part of their self-promotion agenda. And let's not forget their charismatic but superficial charm. They have a knack for captivating audiences with wit and humor, spinning narratives that portray them as heroes, victims, or misunderstood geniuses. They might seem engaging, even enchanting, but it's crucial to be mindful of what's missing. Genuine warmth and connection. Their dazzling persona is just that, a persona. Beneath the glitz and glamour, the grandiose narcissist's allure is often a carefully constructed illusion. It's a mesmerizing performance, designed to captivate and control. But behind the curtain, you'll discover a different story altogether. One of manipulation and a deep-seated need for admiration. As we peel back the layers of this complex personality type, we begin to see the grandiose narcissist for what they truly are. Not heroes, not victims, but individuals with a fundamental need to maintain an inflated sense of self. Unmasking them requires discernment, a keen eye for inconsistencies, and the understanding that beneath the allure of grandeur often lies a manipulative core. Beneath the glitz and glamour, the grandiose narcissist's allure is often a carefully constructed illusion. How does a grandiose narcissist maintain control? By eroding your self-esteem. Imagine being in a constant tug of war with your own worth, pulled and twisted by the tactics of a grandiose narcissist. It's a subtle process, a psychological erosion that can leave you questioning your own perceptions and dependent on their approval. One such tactic is belittlement, often hidden beneath a veneer of concern or jest. The grandiose narcissist may subtly or overtly undermine your achievements and aspirations, particularly those that threaten their status. This constant comparison is not a reflection of your worth, but a strategy designed to chip away at your self-confidence. It's a way for the narcissist to keep you in their shadow, your self-esteem tethered to their approval. But the erosion doesn't stop there. Gaslighting is another weapon in their arsenal. This involves distorting reality, rewriting history and denying statements with such conviction that you start doubting your own memories and judgments. It's a disorienting and destructive tactic that can pull the ground from beneath your feet, leaving you clinging to the narcissist for stability. And then there's the insatiable demand for admiration and attention. The grandiose narcissist's need for external validation can feel like a vortex, sucking in your energy and emotional resources. They exploit your attachment to extract compliments, praise, and constant affirmation of their grandeur. This creates an unhealthy dynamic where your role is to prop up their inflated self-image, often at the expense of your own self-worth. These tactics may seem disparate, but they weave together to form a manipulative tapestry that can erode your self-esteem and leave you feeling less than unsure of your own worth. But it's essential to remember that this is not about you. It's about their need for control, their fear of vulnerability, their insatiable hunger for validation. The grandiose narcissist tactics can leave you feeling unsure of your own worth and dependent on their validation. But know this, you are not the reflection they cast. Your worth is not dependent on their approval. You are enough just as you are. 
A grandiose narcissist doesn't just erode your self-esteem. They weave a web of control that can leave you feeling trapped. The first strand of this web is isolation. Grandiose narcissists are adept at subtly discouraging or outright sabotaging your relationships with friends and family. By creating a sense of isolation, they position themselves as your only source of emotional support. You may start to feel that they're the only one who truly understands you, the only one who can help you navigate through life's challenges. This dependency forms the core of their control, but they don't stop there. When challenged, they have a knack for playing the victim. Suddenly, they're the misunderstood hero, the martyr bearing the brunt of an ungrateful world's jealousy and criticism. This is a masterful tactic that deflects blame and manipulates your empathy. You're left feeling guilty for questioning them, for doubting their intentions. You start to silence your own dissent, to swallow your own concerns. This is the second strand of their web. The final strand is perhaps the most insidious, threats and ultimatums. They may resort to emotional blackmail, withdrawing affection or threatening consequences if their demands are not met. This is not about compromise or negotiation, it's about maintaining control. You're left walking on eggshells, constantly trying to appease them to avoid their wrath. You're trapped in their orbit, revolving around their needs, their desires, their whims. These three strands together form the web of control, isolation, playing the victim, and threats. Each strand reinforces the others, creating a manipulative structure that can be difficult to escape. But recognizing these tactics is the first step towards breaking free. The grandiose narcissist's web of control can leave you feeling isolated and powerless. But remember, you're not alone. There are resources and support available to help you navigate this complex web and reclaim your power. So how can you unmask a grandiose narcissist and reclaim your power? It begins with trusting your gut feeling. If something feels off, it's likely that it is. Don't brush off those inconsistencies or red flags in their behavior. Next, set clear boundaries. Determine what is acceptable and what is not in the relationship. Assertively communicate these boundaries and maintain them relentlessly, even if it means bringing the relationship to an end. Don't underestimate the power of seeking support and validation. Share your experiences with trusted friends, family or a therapist. This can offer a fresh perspective and help you break free from the emotional manipulation. Lastly, focus on your own well-being. Remember, you can't change a narcissist. Instead, prioritize your mental and emotional health. Engage in self-care and surround yourself with individuals who uplift you. By recognizing their tactics, setting boundaries and prioritizing your own well-being, you can unmask the grandiose narcissist's true nature and reclaim your power in the relationship. So, let's quickly recap what we've discussed about grandiose narcissism. These individuals enchant with a veneer of success and charisma, but underneath lies a manipulative core, eroding self-esteem and spinning a web of control. To unmask them, look for inconsistencies, set firm boundaries and prioritize your own well-being. Seek support and trust your instincts. Remember, you deserve genuine connections built on mutual respect and emotional trust. Don't let a grandiose narcissist's manipulative tactics take that away from you.